Hi everyone, I'm Marion de Cruz, dancer, choreographer, educator, producer, and caregiver. Various iterations of the piece were done over the years, from 88 right up to 2012. Um, and I guess we're here to talk about the journey of Earn Peace. I, this was 1988, so this was my one, two, three, fourth concert, I think. Fourth full-length concert that I was doing. And I had got into text. So I wanted to continue that journey of text and, and make a whole concert which was exploring the relationship between movement and text. So I was kind of asking around, you know, does anybody have a text uh, and I, I, for me to play with? And I think Anne Tin had this text called Dream Country. So she gave me the text. It's just something that she had written and never, never done. And the text is about uh, a child who takes her mother back to the old country to die and it's raining and there's a river and the grass is always wet and there are elephants and things like that. So there's a lot of wetness in the text and I kept thinking, okay, I have to create this wetness on stage. How do I create this kind of feeling of everything being wet? And I had all kinds of ideas like, okay, the dancers will all run into the shower and be drenched and then come on stage and do This is even before making the piece. But then I got, no, we'll be in the theatre and then the aircon and then, you know, within five minutes, ten minutes, they'll all dry and there'll be no more wet. Na -na 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 -na. And then literally one day, this image just rises in my head of a head coming out of the urn. And the urn I saw in that image in my head was the, the one with the, the dragon, you know, the traditional Chinese urn that they use for water or for, in the old days, for brass and things like that. So I went, oh, perfect. Sansui has got those urns. So I think we went, I think I went to Sansui's house and they were much too small to, to cover the dancer completely. So I went to a nursery in Tamantun. That nursery is still there. Shinman Lee is his name. Big urns, lah, beautiful urns. And I took, I probably took Georgie with me and George, one of the dancers. Lah. Got into the urn, perfect. He happily could get into the urn and be completely covered. Bought, so said, okay, I'll come back and buy the urns. Made arrangements with uh, Norma Nordin, who had a house in Bangsa called, where they were running center stage, big garden. So I said, I'm doing this piece. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but can I put these urns in your... And she said, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And it was a place where different people came and did. bought three urns. At that time, 60 ringgit. This is 1988. Now they are like a thousand ringgit, those urns. So there were Sufe and George, scholar Georgie, and Noraini Jane. So they wore much, um, like bathing suits and skirts and got into the urn filled with water. And I used to read the text. I'd read the text and they would improvise and improvise and improvise. And after a while, I realized, no, throw away the text. Just let the dance happen. Let the urns, the water, the earth tell you what to do. So that's, that's what we did. And then we also, mm, tried music and all, and again I felt, oh, this is very artificial. We tried all kinds of music, pop music, Bach, you know. I was very into juxta you know, juxtaposing things, so try la, Beatles music, la, pop music, classical music, gamelan music. Gamelan music was quite perfect, but mm, it's just like, uh, you know, suddenly you have this electronic sound coming from a machine. Maybe if there was a live singer, but I'd already a live singer in Maria Zeta. So throw away the music. Lah. So throw away the text, throw away the music. Just use the sounds of the water and the hitting of the urn. There's an urn there, I can go and hit on it. Um, and then some vocalization, a little bit of vocalization. 
Yeah, so it came from the text and from a concert. And it was perfect because then it was 20 minutes. So we had a nice um, swan song was half an hour. This was 20 minutes and then there were a couple of fillers to make a nice like one hour, 10 minute show or something like that. Synthesis. No, 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 no. New Directions 88 was the name of the show. New Directions because I was playing with text. Mm. And then the costumes also were another, uh, to go again with that, that raw, that kind of earth feeling. And so we went to where? Central Market, no, 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 no. Petaling Street or somewhere. Bought a whole bunch of guni sacks. And Jane sewed them in her house on her mother's sewing machine and broke the machine needle a few times. So she just made these three dresses. One was a very long dress. One was a pair of shorts and top. And then one was a short dress, which is this one, uh, which was eventually Ivy's in the next iteration. And they were perfect. They were just so perfect. And We've used them over the years and they're tearing and, you know, even gunny sack gets frayed and we re them. So, you know, there were sort of so many things that we tried and missed and tried and missed and threw out. Which is kind of a process with a lot of my pieces. I think there's more stuff which I throw out than eventually gets on stage. Uh, first of all, with great difficulty in terms of transporting the urns were very heavy, then the whole water, then the coldness of the space, the, the physical coldness because of aircon, plus, you know, you're in a garden and then, yeah, it, it was like, mm, this really should be done outdoors, but never mind, we'll do it indoors. Um, and then it's a stage manager's nightmare. Because it was so cold, we said, no, no, you have to put hot water. So they would fill it with cold water and then boil water in the dressing room of E.T. Then pour a little bit of hot water in so that when we got in, it was nice and warm. And then at the end, there's the tipping of one urn. The stage gets flooded and then the stage manager has to mop up. But, you know, I don't know why I've gone down that trajectory trajectory of making work which is a stage management nightmare I think for me that original Georgie was not a trained dancer at all but had this wonderful quirky imagination Jane was just so beautiful and there was one movement that Jane did, you know, we're all standing on the urn and ha having this very far gaze and all. And then Jane just suddenly disappeared. She just went from standing on the urn, pa, pa. So you have to be very brave to do that kind of a jump in and sort of make sure you're not going to hit your head. So it was different, but then the, because the piece works on, it's like a jazz piece. It works on improv, but then there are markers. So there's a marker where everybody has to do this. Everybody has to do this. And then there's a certain amount of improv. And then everybody has to do this. Then there's a certain amount of improv. So different people brought different quality to it and definitely brought that quality of this crazy free spirit, you know. And I guess the constant has been me la, right through. There was even the things that became set, became set through a process of improv. Yeah, so. And, you know, and ideas that came, oh, why don't, you know, we try this or why don't we try this. So, definitely a co-creation. <laughs>